let's continue our discussion of text editing in PowerPoint 2013 by talking about word art. Word art is uh, the application of special effects to text. When you apply the special effects, the text remains text and remains editable, just like normal text, but you can get some very weird looking text. Uh, you don't need it often uh, when you do. Uh, spectacular text, uh, effects can be achieved. Here's our title slide. I'm going to click in uh, the text on the title itself, and you'll notice that it's at 60 point. And let's go ahead and select that text by dragging over it and changing our point size to 120. Okay, now we have some nice big text to work with. Um, before I made that change, however, I should uh, hasten to say that I liked the way it was before. I'm just demonstrating now some of the effects you can get with WordArt. I'm going to go ahead and click in it and center it in my uh, placeholder also and select it once again and when text is selected you get a drawing tools um, tab at the top and a format tab underneath that and that's where the word art styles are. Here are our word art styles. Uh, let's begin by clicking the drop down on our word art gallery and you can see there's 20 presets here of various uh, word art that we can apply. Here's a bevel effect, very distinctive, kind of Roman looking, but not something I would use very often. And that's what you'll notice about all of this word art is it's not something you use often, but every now and then you need it for great emphasis. Uh, let me hasten to say I'm not recommending you use it on titles like I'm demonstrating now. Okay, here's a sort of inner shadow that you can uh, get. Here are some pattern fills that you can apply. Uh, change colors and styles with some 3D effect here. In my opinion, the most legible of this group uh, is this one that puts these dark shadow around the text itself. Okay, now uh, once again, I would not use a title like that, but for our purposes, I, I, we achieved it by applying a, uh, from the Word Art Gallery, a preset. But if I want to really find control, I can use these three tools here, text fill, text outline, and text effects. Um, I can choose any of my theme colors to fill with and I get a live preview there as I move around or the standard colors and remember when you um, deviate from your theme colors when you later change themes the deviation will override the theme color so stick with your theme colors when at all possible okay or we can come down to pick any color uh, on the color picker. I don't need to demonstrate that. Here's the eyedropper tool though, which I will demonstrate because it's very useful. If I want to pick up this lime green color from the background artwork, I can e that easily apply it to my title. Once again, not something I would really do, but easily done. Let's go back to text fill and come down to picture because this is a startling effect that some people like. It's where you fill text with a picture. And let's go ahead and go to our file system, go to the desktop, and I have a picture of some library books here. Let's fill our text with that picture. And voila, pretty easy. Uh, you'd have to work in Photoshop a while to get that done and it's done quite easily with a couple clicks here. Let's select our text again, go back to our Word Art Styles, back to the Text Fill tool, and here's Gradients too. Now when you're applying a gradient, it's a good idea to pick a, pick a color. I can't apply a gradient to a picture, for example, but I can uh, to this lime green color, or pick your color before you apply the gradient, and the color shades you see here will be the color that you've picked. And let's finally talk about textures. You can also fill with textures, and let me hover over a couple of these. You can just get a sense for what's happening. And I'm going to come up and pick this sort of burlap looking denim one. And there we go. Quite, an, uh, quite a remarkable effect. Not one I would use, but remarkable. <laughs> I'm going back to white. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and select our text once again and back to our format tab. And now we can take a look quickly at text outlines and they're just what they say they are. Let's change our outline color to orange here. Click the tool again and choose a much thicker outline so that you can see it well. Okay? As I say, these are all notable effects uh, that should be used sparingly. Uh, let's now go to the text effects tool and uh, these are all effects that have presets and if we want to get in detail with these 
we have to go to the options and note for example here's shadows here are various preset shadows and some of these are fairly subtle so you have to pay close attention um, and let me ap ap just apply one here and now if I go back to that tool go to shadow and choose shadow options I get a, a panel up that allows me to work with all of these effects in great detail and I can change my shadow color change the preset here if I want to um, change the size of the shadow let's make it a lot larger so we can see it okay here's the blur on the shadow if we want it distinct or blurry the angle at which the shadow appears to be created and the distance it is from the letters that create the shadow you see uh, we can affect all of those things very easily now let's close that go back here undo some of the damage we've done <laughs> and let's go back to the format tab and the word art styles and look at reflections now and I must say I'm not a fan of reflections uh, we get the live preview here on the presets and you can see that the reflections uh, make the letters hard to read and that's not really our goal when we're using PowerPoint so I wouldn't use these often uh, once again you have many uh, reflection options here that you can apply uh, if you need to okay back to our effects and let's talk about glow and glow is one I, I kind of like I mean there are occasions when this comes in handy let's uh, pick this sort of subtle glow here uh, but let's go back to the text effects glow and choose glow options and here we can change our color now let's choose this blood red color here and change the size of the glow and change the transparency and maybe make it quite a bit larger and there's some distinctive text for you <laughs> okay uh, kind of fun to play around with this stuff but um, let's let's talk about practicalities now uh, on our text effects here's bevels you can experiment with these later 3d rotation and we'll get into more detail on these when we get to shapes and drawing of shapes and transform transforms are very different from the other ones and don't exist in that um, pane that we've been working with we can get our text to follow a path and you can see the preview a circular path there's not enough text to form a circle and warp the text and um, there we go we've just about succeeded in making it completely illegible <laughs> and once we choose um, one of the transform effects we can drag this little purple box to change the way our text actually fits that particular transform you see so uh, there you have it as I say uh, to be used sparingly but that's where your word art controls are thanks for listening <laughs>